we made a really distinct shift in our focus for this year's tours, moving away from focusing on the technology, the tools that we use, to what our actual instructional platform is. If you go into Schoology, you're all gonna have to be in Schoology. There's a quiz. At the beginning, how long did that take? To make them, I think that... One to one is kind of an old fashioned term right now. Right now, these students are three to one, four to one. So I have really, I really wanted to know this year of how they were tying this framework into that technology piece that is the driving the education um, of their students here at Minnetonka. Students will be able to set up their experiments so and then just of, run them for as long as they need. need. It really broadened the experience that our guests will have. They're going to tell me which problem they want to see. Um, they're seeing all sorts of different learning experiences that we've created for our students that emphasize these different dimensions. You want to go ahead that way? Yeah. Authentic assessment, collaboration, communication, creativity, critical thinking, global learning, personalized learning, and our use of technology for learning. We saw some fascinating things at both schools. I was very interested at the elementary school about the immersion program and uh, the coding that is going on in the district. One of the biggest takeaways is I'm very impressed with the way that the teaching and learning department and technology really work together and the technology isn't at all the focus, but it's more um, just one of the tools that students have at their disposal, and it seems like um, it's really used in the lessons by the teachers in an authentic way. We have this great foundation of all of the technology that we've been using to engage our students for the last 10, 15 years. Now that we have that, it, it becomes part of the background and we focus on, we share the experiences that our students and teachers are having. This framework really provides that opportunity for teachers to think about how can I take what I'm doing and go one, cent, one step further by making one little tweak to a lesson or to a unit. Um, it will lead to greater engagement and deeper learning. I've always believed that it's not about the tool. It's not about the device. It's about the why behind our technology and I am really finding out the why of what they're doing having that technology piece but also incorporated into those that framework this is my third year um, it has taken an entirely different shift it's been very interesting to me to see um, with this framework design that they have gone on so now it's um, really exciting to have worked through that and then come back and see classrooms in action that have um, a head start and just see like where our path leads and kind of follow Minnetonka's lead. You Notice know, like the significant use of just looking at the space for you know creative um, processing and design.